Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to get any version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, if you go to Microsoft's website, you're going to get the very latest version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. But if you want to download, say, the Insider Preview, maybe something from the Dev Channel, or maybe uh, something from uh, a previous version, like an older version of Windows 10, uh, to mess around with on a virtual machine, then you can download them on UUP Dump. It's a website where you'll be able to download just about any version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, you should really only use these sort of versions for testing purposes on your virtual machines. So if you want to uh, play around with some of the latest features, then you can download them from here. It's always advisable to actually join the Insider program if you want to get the very latest uh, versions from Microsoft. And then that way, you can update it and everything else on here. You're not really supposed to use these on your main uh, computer. So as you can see here, you've got loads of build versions here. They're all listed down here. You'll see pretty much uh, loads of different types. And you can click on these little buttons up here as well, which gives you different types of versions you can download here. Also, we've got the architectures, updates, and other feature updates as well here, which you can download as well which makes it super easy. So if you want to get a beta version, dev version, or pre-release version, or something like that, you can download them from this site as well. So how does it work? Well, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So we're going to come down here to, say, for instance, this Windows 11 Insider uh, Preview version. Now, of course, we're not in the Insider Preview. We, you should really join that, but we're going to go ahead and just download this version here. Now, it doesn't come down as an ISO file. It comes down as a script which basically you open and run, and it will then pull that file down. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. So this is where we get the option to choose a language. So I'm going to choose uh, English United States. You can choose what other language is available. Then you can click Next. And this is where we need to choose our edition. So I'm going to remove a bunch of these and just probably leave Windows uh, Pro. But whatever additions you want to leave in your selection, you can just leave ticked here. But I'm just going to basically remove which ones I don't need. So I'll probably just go with the Windows Pro for quickness here. So let's go ahead and click on Next and leave that selected there. And from here, we're going to be able to download and convert to an ISO. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave the radio button in there. And this will include the updates uh, for Windows uh, Converter only. So if you want to do this quickly, you may want to remove include updates. I'm going to leave that ticked because I want the latest updates there. And I'm going to click on create download package. This will download our little package here. So I'm going to go to that location where it is. We need to extract it. So I'll extract this to, say, for instance, our desktop. And it'll put a bunch of files on there. So let me go ahead and extract here. You can put this wherever you like. I'm just going to stick it there. And I'll create a folder and put them in there. There's only four files. So let's go ahead and extract this. Okay, so you can see here we have now got the files ready for our package to download. So let's go ahead and uh, see these files. Now these files support Windows, uh, Mac, and they also support Linux. So depending on what uh, operating system you're running, you can use this method on either of those operating systems, including Windows. So let's go ahead and we can see here, these are the files here. So we've got these files. I'm going to quickly create a project folder here to put them into. So I'm just going to quickly name this project and then put all these files inside here. And we can run it from there. So let's go ahead and copy these or drag them in there. There we go. And we can now open up this folder. And once we open up this folder, you should see a batch file here. So what we want to do is right click on this batch file and run this as administrator. This will then open up this box here, which says Windows protected your PC, click on more info. And because it's an unknown publisher, uh, it's it's blocked it, but you can run anyway, and it should then give you the user account control where you can say yes. And then you should see something like this, which is an actual prompt screen popping up here with loads of text flying up on the screen. Don't worry about it, just be patient. It does take quite a while to complete. So. And what I mean by quite a while is it may take a while, depending on your internet speed, to download all the files and what options you've chosen. So that is now done. And I've uh, selected 
zero to exit out here. And you can now see we have our ISO image inside here, which we can now uh, use. We can either mount this by right clicking and mounting it and then installing it. Or you can create a bootable USB flash drive and put it onto your test box. Or you can uh, install this onto a virtual machine, which is probably what I'd recommend you do because these are probably used for testing purposes, in my opinion. So here we have the website again. I just want to open this up here and show you up here. We can go to Rufus here and also create a bootable USB flash drive. You can download this, uh, the portable version, and quickly uh, create your bootable USB flash drive. I've already done a video on this, so I'm not going to go through this again. But basically, that's all you need to do. So just download the file, open it up, put your USB flash drive in there, and set up your settings for your bootable drive, which is your device, and also your partitioning scheme and your target system, which will be your ISO and your file system, which will be MTFS. And that's it. Click start and it will make a bootable USB flash drive. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can get any version of Windows 10 or 11 for your testing purposes on your virtual machines and things like that. If you want to make content on YouTube or you want to uh, maybe test the latest version of windows 11 you can download it here and basically run that version on your system it's always best to join the insider program it doesn't take much and that way you get the latest updates and all the latest versions anyway my name has been brian from biotechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to my youtube members i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now